What's going on YouTube? It's your boy DT Tech Twin Trey on here back with another video. Uh, this time guys, we're gonna be doing a little bit different. I know we talk about a lot of PS5 stuff with headsets and all that good stuff, but uh, we are a tech channel. Um, our dream is to do everything that is tech. So we're gonna to be branching away from that and going into the uh, speaker market to see, you know, um, see how we do in this category. Um, definitely, you know, this video is for seeing if you guys love it. Definitely, if you do, give us a like down below and comment down below, let us know, say, hey, I subscribe and we will get to every single person. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the video so um, as you know on the title on my um, left well on your left <laughs> is gonna be looking at the JBL boombox uh, one and on your right you're gonna be looking at the JBL boombox two um, now really guys I've had the, the first JBL boombox for um, a year and it's like I uh, first like before even that like I've been a JBL person. My brother's been a JBL person for a little bit. My girlfriend's a JBL person. I've just, we've all loved always J, JBL. My first speaker was a JBL Flip 3 and I fell in love with that thing. Um, I don't know how small it was, but how like great the quality sound was. I was doing that for a very long time. Um, but after probably maybe the third year, I believe of me using it, um, it kind of like crapped out on me. The battery just gotten real bad. It, it you know couldn't hold a charge or anything like that. So. I wanted to get another speaker, but I wanted something like with more louder sound, a deeper bass and all this stuff. Cause the JBL Flip 3 was great. But when it came to the bass, it wasn't, you know, all that good and everything. But um, so I went total, like I wanted to get the biggest speaker it ever got to see what it, see how it's, see what it's like, see if I love it. And I came across the JBL um, Boombox 1. Uh, I got it a few months before the JBL um, Boombox 2 came out. And when it, I didn't realize that before when I bought it, but I was a little upset when it came out, but I heard a lot of people say that it wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't pretty much different at all. Same sound, same bass and all that stuff was a little bit different. Um, but uh, right now guys, uh, I had, I bought, just bought the JBL Boombox 2 back in April, um, around about the time where it's pretty much the anniversary of like when the JBL Boombox 2 uh, came out. So it's been a, it's been a year um, after I bought it after the fact. Um, now the reason why I went ahead and upgraded um, to the 2 was because of the one, uh, one night I, I accidentally, like I, I carried this one a lot with me. And um, on my way back home, I was out of town, um, coming back home and everything. I accidentally, it was like pitch black. Um, I was packing up all my stuff and everything. And I set this JBL boombox on top of my car. And I drove off forgetting that it was on top of my car. So I'm just cruising down the road and everything. And all I hear is a boop boop. And it's like, I'm here looking at the real view mirror, it's like bopping down the road. I was like, what is that? I was like, yo, that's my speaker. So I'm like, hitting the brakes, getting out of the car, running to get my speaker and everything. And like, I was just looking at it like, oh man, it's got all scuffed up at the top. Um, the threading in the, on the speaker and everything got mangled and everything in the back and stuff. Um, it, it was just, it got really bad. But um, frankly, like after, you know, after uh, through all that, like it was playing for me. It was like, it was still charged up when I plugged it up. Um, well, it was fine and everything was playing, like the bass was great, everything was the same. But when it came time to charge it again, like this thing, it will not charge anymore. Like it sounds great, it's, it's, it's fine and everything, but this thing just won't charge it. Now it's like dead, I plug it up, it's not charging, it's not doing anything. So I'm like, oh man, like I really love the speaker and everything and um, I don't really, you know how it looks and all this stuff like i i think i guess it's just time to get a new one for me anyway that's how just how i thought in my head so um it was a good excuse for me to get another speaker i wanted something you know um great and everything i didn't want to downgrade to a i wanted to save money but then i was thinking like i don't, don't want to downgrade to a smaller speaker because i love the sound on the boom box then i was looking at the boom box too and like after the year of it being out, like it was, it was still $500 to buy, um, but there was like Amazon where they had refurbished ones for like 350 and all this stuff. Like, let me tell you something guys, I'm the person 
that likes to buy just stuff brand new because like I cannot trust like refurbished products or anything like that because if it craps out on me I'm mean, like dang like is this me or is this like because of these you know whatever you know with the refurbished brand or whatever the case may be like I like to buy stuff brand new no matter how old it is whatever so I know that if I if I break in it it's because of me and me alone so I went ahead and just you know just said F it. I went ahead and just bought the $500 speaker and everything. Um, by the way, that's that's how much it is, $500 US. I believe after taxes where I live at, this little was came out to like 540 or something like that. So, um, but doing a quick comparison, guys, um, these things, everybody was right. These things is just about the same. Um, I bought it back in April. I've literally like having experience with both. Like I brought the JBL Boombox one and two to the beach before. I brought the JBL Boombox. Uh, I packed it and I went out overseas and went on vacation um, and everything. Like it's it's terrible during travel for me. Like after man, after like five minutes, like holding this thing, it gets like su it gets super heavy. It just weighs you down for the rest of the time and everything. I do not recommend if you have if you can. Put a bag in it for like a travel bag, maybe then fine, but a lot of guys like to throw stuff around and everything like that. So make sure you have this jump pretty protected if you wanna, you know, travel with this overseas or vacation or whatever whatever you're doing. But um it made it, but the JBL Boombox One made it through that. It was great and everything. And as far as like sound goes, guys, like these things, it's the JBL Boombox Two is just as amazing as the first one. I love the bass. I love the quality of the sound and everything. Um, but for me though, like I, you, you do, I live in an apartment complex, so you cannot have this thing turned all the way up playing music and everything. It's just way too loud and everything which what I, what I love um, I haven't found any type of situation where like I was able to turn this junk all the way up and just let it play like even with the even with the one like the year that I had it I never turn it up all the way and just let it let it play like I barely even play this thing on half a bar if I'm on if it's on half then I'm, I'm outside like it's playing but I live in an apartment complex and I got to keep this thing like just under half volume and i live on the first floor if um and i leave it on the floor so it can play like this thing it's not even on half it's not even on half and it's like vibrating the floor and everything and like i was like oh should i turn this down it was like uh whatever but um but yeah guys if you turn this up if you live in an apartment complex you're definitely going to get the cops called on you you live in a definitely a neighborhood where you're playing it um if you have a, if you're in a house play those outside if somebody doesn't like it they're definitely going to call the cops on you and all that stuff unless you're having a party or whatever the case may be but um, definitely playing this inside an apartment. You're definitely gonna get the calls, um, cops called on you and everything. But and the only thing that I do not like about the JBL Boombox 2 is that on the one it came like both of them come comes with the charging port, the USB charger, the aux cable, and the uh, micro USB for you know service. I guess for updates and things like that. But the only thing I do not like about the JBL Boombox 2 is that this one comes with one charging port on the usb for like you know if you want to charge your phone or anything like that like um the first one had two on it on the second one they got rid of one of them and now it's just one usb um i hated it i did i didn't like it <laughs> i did i mean i didn't like it but it's still fine you know at least you get one but for like a 500 dollars speaker you should still at least like you know keep keep the one keep the you know the two that was on there like i was surprised when i saw that but uh, other than that guys um is the back the back on there is very easy to open up the first one was incredibly hard for you know you guys out there that know if you have the one or still have it and everything how hard it was to take off that back piece to get to one of these ports if you was trying to use it with the connection on it um the pull the, all the all the the connection you know how the, you know you can connect 100 you know speakers and all this stuff um on the connection on these, like I know the JBL Boombox 1 had the Connect Plus, and now the JBL Boombox 2 has the party mode. Um, you can, these these things cannot connect together. Um, I do not like that. The only thing, like that's another thing I hate about just JBL in general, like they keep changing the service for connecting, you know, all these speakers and everything, because I know it was the JBL Connect, then it's the JBL Connect Plus, and then now it's JBL, the party mode and everything. And like, if these speakers have the same thing, if they're different from each other with the connection, they will not connect together. Um, that was one I really I really hate. 
Um, it shouldn't matter, like, I just feel like it shouldn't matter which generation you got, they all should just connect together. But I know maybe it's a market employee to, you know, everybody say, hey, you know, if you want to connect with me, buy, buy this newer speaker and or buy this speaker and stuff like that. So I don't, I don't know what the case is, but I just feel like they should have just made everything one. But like at the end of the day, I love this thing. It's, it brings me much joy as it did with the first one. I can't wait to, you know, keep using this thing. I already brought it to the beach. Like it's, it's June guys, like I already done brought it to the beach. Um, um, my birthday is, well me and my brother's birthday is coming up as well. July 8th, we're gonna be 25 this year. Um, gonna, be a, gonna be a great year for us, yeah. So we're trying to plan something big. So definitely probably uh, whatever you're doing, if we're gonna be doing like a party thing, then we're definitely gonna be, I'm definitely gonna be bringing the speaker. But other than that guys, um, that's it. If you guys love this video, man, hit us up with a like uh, down in the comments below to let me know, hey, you guys love these type of videos. You guys want us to keep doing them. So whenever the JBL3 comes out, we'll get that or whatever speaker else that we'll do and whatever the case may be. If you guys definitely got some recommendations, let us know in the comments below. Um, let's see. Other than that, guys, uh, if you guys want to see more of us, definitely hit that subscribe button and let us know down in the comments below say hey i subscribe and we'll promise you we'll get, get to every single comment um but yeah guys other than that we'll see you guys on the next video peace